ensure editorial independence, including of public service media. Actually, this is from the start said something and repeated several times by Commissioner Jourova. We have to protect media from politi politicization. And the media capture shows um, how, how far we have come there. So how can we ensure editorial independence? We have to establish and implement strong safeguards for editorial independence of media, foster media self-regulation, besides strengthening the independence of national media regulators. This includes safeguards for the protection of sources, guarantees against surveillance, not only spyware as Pegasus, but also state surveillance, which unfortunately also on the rise. With the increasingly bad working conditions, the status of journalists is falling and thus also the power to risk pressure from outside. You know when you don't earn enough, it's much easier to be corrupt. When it comes to ensuring editorial independence in the newsrooms, trade unions and press councils play an important role. And last but not least, guaranteeing the independence of public service media, including safeguards for the appointments of procedures in public service management, for rules on the absence of conflict of interest. I just remind you, a few years ago, Berlusconi was sort of, uh, could be uh, put together with um, conflict of interest, a prime minister who was more or less owning too much media and had a lot of influence on public service media, and we have that now in many member states.